Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here with the first one. The first one is this vintage toy turtle. It's rubber and it's made in Hong Kong. And you can see right here, it says Hong Kong on the bottom. There it is. Hong Kong. This guy's old. I sold him for a best offer of $16. Buyer was all in for $22.50 and I got it at a garage sale for $0.25. Cents. The next item are these four Victoria's Secret plush dogs. And this one and this lot right here. I sold these to a viewer, Pinky's Second Hand Store. Definitely check out her eBay store. She has amazing items, really great deals. But she bought two of these, $27.89 and $21.69 plus shipping on those. This is a Pick Me Pops Pajama Llama plush toy doll. Uh, llama corn, unicorn, tie-dye, slime shirt. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $9.30, and the buyer paid shipping. And back to these. These are the Victoria's Secret plush dogs. I don't think I said that. And I got these at a garage sale on a big bulk buy. And it's been several years ago, and I lauded them up. I'm not sure if selling them individually would have been better, but uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. They did take a little while to sell in groups. The next item is this Cabbage Patch Kids Cuties Turtle 2009 Retired Doll, and it does have a defect. I can't remember what it is, but it has the original tags right there on the nose. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery toy box, sold it for a best offer of 15 the buyer was all in for $25.10. This is a Spark Create Imagine plush teddy bear dinosaur costume. I feel like this is one of the brands that the Rebel reseller says that she does well with is Spark. Maybe, I think she said it's a good bread and butter. I can't remember. I could be wrong. Uh, got it at the Goodwill bin. Sold it for $11.16 plus shipping. You guys let me know down in the comments if uh, you remember what Rebel said about Spark. <laughs> All right, this is a Lincoln Logs Little Prairie Farmhouse Pink Gate Plastic Replacement Part. Got this at the Goodwill Bins, took a best offer of $8, and the buyer paid shipping. This is just a replacement part. These are Christmas candy cane swirl lollipop ornaments. They're just like a plastic material, super, super cute. They did take a little while to sell. I got them out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. Sold them for 12 and the buyer paid shipping. It's amazing because by the time you add in tax and shipping, the buyer is all in for $21.56 for these. So, you know, it's really, really hard when you're pricing things because you have to take into consideration that the buyer has to pay those taxes and that shipping and overall what they're paying for the item. Because I think about when I'm purchasing things and I'm like, oh my goodness, once I add tax and shipping, it's going to be like this much money. So it really does add up. Cloud B Gentle Draft Plush. This is a crib sleep soother sound machine. Got it at the Goodwill Bins. So Goodwill Bins is by weight. So most of these stuffed animals that I get at the bins are one to $2, I would say. Sold this for 14 and the buyer paid shipping. This is 12 skeins. Is it skeins or skines? I don't remember. Um, everybody says I say it wrong. So <laughs> it is what it is. It's embroidery floss, guys. It's just embroidery floss. I took a best offer of $9 on this and the buyer paid shipping. This price here is before my sale kicked in. So I usually run anywhere from 35 to 38% off when I have sales. But I have sold eight of these and I have 17 left. I decided to do them in lots of 12 and I have a whole bunch. So they are selling. Oh, and let me show you this. If you want to learn how to create a coupon, buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon at checkout. I do have a video that teaches you how to do this. Just go into the YouTube search, per, put BOLO Buddies coupon and it will pull that up and teach you how to do it. 
This is a vintage uh, village 3D house needlepoint. It's on canvas. It is so stinking adorable. Funny thing is, I was at a garage sale and I saw all of these and I did not buy them. And I found them at the Goodwill, I think a week or two later, and I bought them at the Goodwill. $3.50 in this, sold it for a best offer of $22. And the buyer paid shipping. These are vintage novelty safety cloth diaper pins. They are vintage. Got these at an estate sale for 50 cents, sold them for a best offer of seven plus shipping. Here's another one of those houses. These were doing really good. Uh, $3.50 total cost of goods, sold it for 26 best offer, buyer paid shipping. This one, I mean, just look at all the details with the deer. Oh, it's so cute. This is a Universal Studios Black King Kong Gorilla 8 plush stuffed animal with sewn eyes. I got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably around a dollar, and sold it for a best offer of 12 plus shipping. This is a Chuck E. Cheese birthday rock star metal medallion with purple lanyard. Got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably a dollar or less, sold it for $14.30 plus shipping. This is a Toys R Us bunny rabbit plush stuffed animal, realistic in the title, and Easter is also a good word for the title. This one also came from the Goodwill bins, sold it for $19.50 plus shipping. This is a vintage Noel Christmas decor letters, spell out Santa tree mitten, just some key words. And I got this at the Goodwill bins, so probably about a buck in that or so, sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Most of my items I take best offers on. These are the Fisher Price Little People Cuddle and Play Baby Lot, two figures, toy babies. Got these at the Goodwill bins, sold them for a best offer of 10 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a keep calm and drive on Dodge Ram die cast car. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, sold it for $8.78 and the buyer paid shipping. More embroidery floss. This one I took a best offer of $10. Christmas green is the color. Um, if you notice, they will have a number on them. And you want to put that number 699 in the title. That will help people find your item, especially for discontinued colors. So $10 plus shipping on that one. Victoria's Secret scarf and beanie hat. I got this at a garage sale for $5. I think I picked up two of them. I have one left. Sold this for $31 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And the next item is this Wish Pets plush manatee. 2005 stuffed animal, got it at the Goodwill bin, sold it for asking price, sale price of $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $31.44. So lots of plush in this video. And bread and butter, we talked about it in another video, different opinions on whether to keep bread and butter listed or to kind of weed it out and go for higher dollar stuff. You know, the economy is changing. People are going to want things that are affordable. I think getting rid of your bread and butter is probably not a good idea, but that's just my opinion. So again, let me know, are you keeping your bread and butter or are you in 2024 going for higher dollar items? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.